How to get coaching clients without a website. Do you want to start attracting coaching clients to your business? Are you a new or aspiring coach wondering if it's even possible to make money without a website? If you want to begin attracting clients before investing heavily in an expensive website, you're in the right place because in this video, I'm going to show you how to get coaching clients without a website. <laughs> Hey, hey, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to me, my name is Courtney Sanders. I'm a full-time online life and business coach as well as wife and mom. I wear all the hats and do all the things. And in today's video, I wanna talk about how you can get started attracting clients without a website because you don't actually need one, at least not initially. And I'm just on a kick lately where I want people to stop procrastinating, get off the sidelines and get into their dreams. So I actually have other videos about how to create the life of your dreams as a woman entrepreneur how to do goal setting. And I just find that it falls on deaf ears unless you know that you can be successful even if you don't have everything set up. So I won't lie to you and say like, oh, starting a business, you could just snap your fingers and in 10 days have everything. Over time, you're, you're gonna need to build some things out. But just because you want to grow your business over time, it doesn't mean you can't get started right now. When I first got started in my coaching business, again, I was a new grad out of college. I was a government employee. I didn't have a coaching certification. I didn't even have any experience in coaching, but I didn't let that stop me from getting started. I didn't even have a website. I just had a blog at the time and I started to attract clients and make sales. And I actually used the money from my sales to then pay for my actual actual coaching business. And so I know that that might be the case for you. Maybe you're just getting started and you keep putting it off every year. You keep saying this year, I'm gonna start my business. I'm gonna start my coaching business, but you have been holding yourself up because you're like, Oh, I don't have a website and no one's going to want to work with me. If I don't have a website, that's not true. You don't necessarily need a website. In fact, you can get clients now and then use that money to pay for a website. And in fact, I even have clients that I have worked with where I've helped them do this process. I think about a stay at home mom that I worked with who had five kids. And after we went through some of the strategies that I'm going to be talking about in this video, she was able to attract three $3,000 clients. They were each $3,500 and made her first 10 K in a month, which was crazy. So she got people to pay her $3,500 a pop in one month, three people in one month and made well over 10 K again with no website. All she had was social media and some of the other things that we're going to get into right now. All right, so the first thing you do need to have if you don't have a website is you need to have a clear understanding of your niche. So you need to know your niche. So at the beginning of this video, I talked about a client that I had who was a stay at home mom where we were able to get her, you know, 10 K in her first month with just three clients. Part of how we were able to do that is because we drastically changed her niche. When she came to me, she was coaching in one arena. It was vague. It wasn't well suited to her. And so I went through a process with her and we ended up finding and pinpointing the perfect niche for her. And so when she started creating content for it, people just came out the woodwork and they were immediately wanting to sign up for her, even though she didn't have a website, which is crazy. I know. So you really need to know your niche. I have several videos on how to find your niche. You can click them here, here, wherever they're on the screen. But if this is something that you've really been struggling with, I think you're going to need more than a 10 to 15 minute video. I think you're going to need actually five days of live coaching from me, which is what I offer for free in my nail your niche challenge. So it's free at the time of this recording but I can't promise it's going to be free forever because I do teach, you know, niching strategies that formerly I only taught my paying clients, but it's five days of live training for me. Again, this is live. It's not pre-recorded. live training for me all about how to nail your niche over the course of five days. And so even though it's free, we limit the amount of spots because we have an option where you can upgrade and you can get direct coaching from me one-on-one -on -one or via a group via zoom after the challenge each day. And so I want to make sure that everyone who participates is able to get the customer customized attention that they're looking for when they join the challenge. So we limit the amount of spots that we allow and we only do these challenges every once in a while. So if you want to see if a challenge is coming up, go ahead and click the link below. And if it is, and if there are spots available and it'll tell you how many spots are left, make sure you sign up ASAP to get in there because in five days you will literally know your niche. All right, the second thing that you'll need to do is you'll need to create consistent content. So if you don't have a website, people still need a place where they can get to know you. And social media is one of the best places to do that. In fact, even if you have a website, you still need to create consistent content. In fact, even if you have a website, you still need to do everything that we're going to cover in this video. So this video really works whether you have a website or not. If you don't have a website, this is handy because you can just do all this stuff first. But if you spend all the time and the money getting the website and you didn't do the things in this video, now you know what you need to 
to go back and fix. But yes, the second thing is you need to create consistent content and it has to be consistent. Now, this is something that people struggle with and I find that they're like looking for a way to like get around this, right? Maybe you're on YouTube right now and you're like, how to attract clients without posting on social media. For some reason, people hate the idea of creating content, but I think it's because they're thinking about it in the wrong way. One, creating content is what takes people from strangers to people in your community. I mean, think about it. If you've been watching my videos for a while, I'm sure you feel like you know me by now. You know, I've told silly stories about my family or college or my kids or whatever. It's an opportunity for your audience to warm up to you and to really get to know you. But beyond that, in terms of the connection that your audience builds with you, it's an opportunity for you to really to establish your authority and your insight. And this is where the magic happens in any business, regardless of whether you have a website or not. People have to feel like you have a unique way of communicating something or you create like ahas in their mind around your subject matter that they wouldn't have thought of with anybody else. And the only way to do that is through consistent content. Now, I know oftentimes the reason we procrastinate or we don't wanna put content out is because we worry about if it's good enough. But here's a secret that I'm gonna tell you, and this, this is for me, it's for you, it's for if you're new, if you're experienced, it doesn't matter. The secret is this, quality comes through quantity. I'll say that again. Quality only comes through quantity. We have this misconception, and again, I think it's the way our educational system is taught where you know you sit on the sidelines and you have to like think and get the answer, and then you're expected to get the right answer on the first shot, right? So in school, you have to sit on the sidelines and study. You don't do the thing, you just learn about the thing in a book, and when it's time for you to actually do the thing or to take a test on a thing, you're expected to get the right answer the first time, otherwise you're penalized and you get a bad grade. Unfortunately, the real world doesn't work that way. The real world works where you can only get the right answer Answer after failing repeatedly and doing things over time. And so consistent content is really a way for you to figure it out. So no, I'm just gonna warn you right now, your first few posts on social media, right? Your first few videos on YouTube, your first few podcast episodes, your first few posts on Instagram, maybe your first few months of content, might not be that great. It might not be up to quote unquote your standards, but that quality is gonna come through over time because as you experiment and you try different things, you don't take yourself too seriously, eventually you're gonna hit something and you're gonna be like, wow, this is my thing. Like this really took off. I love the way I did that. I felt confident about this, this was good. And then you now know the direction to go into. So then you'll lean into that and you'll repeat it and duplicate it. And before you know it, you'll have throngs of people coming to you because you have all this amazing content out there, but you can't get there unless you're willing to go through, you know, creating content consistently. All right, the third thing you need, even if you don't have a website, and especially if you don't have a website, is a beautiful brand. So I went on a diatribe in my video all about how much does it cost to create a course because I think in our you know online marketing world, we've shifted too far on the pendulum into telling people that they don't need anything, right? Like you can get started with nothing, no money down. You don't have anything, it's fine. Just slap some stuff together and get out there. And I understand why that message is communicated and it's because most people are procrastinators and most people don't think highly of themselves. They don't think that they can actually do it so they stall and they wait and they come up with silly excuses like I need a website to get started you don't right they come up with all these excuses because deep down they're really afraid so I understand why there's all this communication around you don't need any of this stuff just get started that said I think that communication has gone too far in the other pendulum where people think that quality doesn't matter at all and that you can just slap some stuff together and get out there and if you want to attract customers understand that you are a stranger on the internet right I know you think you're great I think you're great, right? And you're like, I know me, my stuff is good. I'm really good at what I do. But the person who's on the other end of the computer screen doesn't know that because they don't know you. And so having a beautiful brand, one, shows that you've invested in your business, right? So you can't ask other people to invest in your business when you haven't invested in your business at all. Having a beautiful brand is a demonstration of investment because most people are not graphic designers. So you probably had to pay somebody to get that done or at least spend money on some templates or something in order to make your brand look well, or at least spend the time learning can Canva, you know, to get it done. Um, so you want to have a beautiful brand, but beyond that, it shows that you're in it for the long haul. I think one of the biggest fears people have in terms of working with coaches and gurus and people online is the fly by night person, right? The person who looks good, you know, you give them their money, your money, they sound good. 
oh, I'm gonna do all these things. And then they're off and you never hear from them again. Most people are scared about that. And so if you have your brand together, along with all these other things, especially consistent content, it shows people that like you're a real person, you show up, you're investing in your business. This is a real business, right? An online business doesn't have the, the luxury of having a brick and mortar store that people can actually go to and see that the lights are on, but having a beautiful brand is a way of showing, hey, the lights are on. So you don't have to spend, you know, huge amounts of money on this in the beginning, but I do recommend making some level of investment in this, whether it is with an actual, you know, graphic designer who's gonna do this, or whether it's with a coaching program that's gonna show you how to do this yourself in a really powerful way. And I know we teach our clients how to build brands themselves. We actually create the templates for you based on the done for you brands that we've done for some of my highest paying clients. We give you those templates for free inside of my next big name bootcamp program. And that allows our clients to create really beautiful brands very quickly because it's based on professionally designed templates. So find some sort of solution in order to create a beautiful brand. All right, I have more tips where that came from, but first I wanna hear from you. Do you have a website? Share it in the comments below or share why you don't have one in the comments below. All right, the fourth thing you need if you want to start attracting clients without a website is you need some sort of email capture and automation system. So this is pretty much mandatory, right? All of these are mandatory, but you know, social media kind of goes without saying, people understand that they need to show up, but a lot of people don't realize that you actually need a way to capture the contact information of the people who are consuming your content. Because here's the deal, you don't own social media, right? I know we're spending all this time creating all this content on these platforms, but at the end of the day, Facebook could go away, Instagram could go away, even YouTube could go away, and then what would you have? Nothing right? Because your audience is here. And so you need a way to capture people, at least people's name and email address, if not their name, email address, and phone number as they are consuming your content. That way you have a way to reach out to them outside of social media. And also you need some sort of automation system. By automation, I mean, you need a system where if someone uh, provides you their name and email, that you have a series of emails that is going to talk to them essentially, right? That's going to show them more about your brand, warm them up to you, and also introduce them to the products and programs that you have to offer. You don't wanna be manually sending emails out all the time to every new person that joins your email list. That's what an automated sequence is for. And so you need that system. So even if you don't have a website, I still recommend and really require that my clients have a landing page. So a landing page is kind of similar to a website, but it's not, right? A website is a full online, like yourname.com, you go there, you click on the tabs, all the information is there. A landing page is just a single page, right? It can still be yourname.com, but it's just a single page and it has information about what you have to offer and it has into your name and email address here. That is a landing page. And you're gonna connect that landing page to some sort of email automation so that when someone enters their name and email address and they get on your contact list, it automatically triggers an automation that sends emails out to them to, again, tell them more about your brand, tell them more about what you have to offer, et cetera. That is how you capture clients because it frees you because now you can just focus on showing up consistently on social media, consistently creating content. And as people who like what you have to offer, raise their hand and they say that they want to take the next step with you. They get on your email list and they get in the automation. The automation is kind of doing the heavy lifting for you and further really deepening that relationship. And again, these are things that you can have designed uh, custom. You can also get templates for a coaching program. Inside of my coaching program, The Next Big Name, we provide all of the email capture templates, landing pages, sales pages, application pages, the emails, we write them for you. All you have to do is plug in your information and boom, you just throw it in your software of choice, ConvertKit, MailChimp, ActiveCampaign, whatever, and a lot of the work is done for you. So either make the investment to have someone do it for you or invest in a coaching program where it's already done. All right, and the fifth thing that you need to do in order to attract clients is obviously be on social media. So we talked about creating content, but you want to be on all the platforms that your audience is on. This is a big one. I always say that the social media platforms that you choose need to be a blend of one, where your audience is, but two, where your greatest communication strengths lie. So I know that I am a strong verbal communicator. I'm a strong writer as well. Um, I'm less strong in terms of um, like static visuals, like pictures and stuff. I'm not, I'm an okay picture taker. I, I feel like 
being online kind of like forces you to learn how to take pictures. So I'm not bad. I'm probably better than the average person, but my natural strengths is in verbally communicating and then in writing. But I know really people don't read blogs anymore. So I tend to gravitate towards social media platforms where I can show my strength, i.e. my verbal communication skills. So I am heavy on YouTube here, right? We're posting almost daily. Um, I'm heavy on my podcast. And even the way that I use other social media platforms, I use them towards my strength. So on my Instagram, you'll notice that I put a lot of video clips and I put a lot of um, written content, carousels, quotes. I tend to do longer captions because again, I'm a writer, I'm a communicator. That is where I, I am best at. And even if I just have a static photo, which I do less of, even though I'm getting into it more, but again, that's like my lowest strength in terms of um, communicating. I will pair it with a longer caption because that's when I can really shine with my writing. So you want to think about where are you a good communicator and make sure that you are on social media platforms that your audience is on, but make sure that you're using those social media platforms in a way that matches your strength because that's how you're going to attract clients. And again, if clients can't go to your website to learn all about you because you don't have one, being on multiple social media platforms is how they're going to interact and engage with you multiple times, ultimately getting your world and ultimately sign up for what you have have to offer. Okay, I hope that that was helpful for you. If it was and you want even more where that came from, I invite you to sign up for my free Coaching Brand Success Secrets Seminar. This is a seminar that I recorded not too long ago. You'll get instant access to the replay and it goes through all of my Coaching Brand Success Secrets that you can implement, again, even if you don't have a website in order to be successful online. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. And if you can't wait till my next video, make sure you're following me on Instagram where you can see behind the scenes of my life as well as more information like this. And if you can't wait until my next Instagram post, come on over to my podcast. It's the Courtney Sanders Show on both Spotify and iTunes. Subscribe there and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.